like what would happen if i were to log in with a person that has active directory access specifically a help desk person so just remember if you ever go for a job interview and they ask you how do you get access to active directory on your computer you tell them i will download our set tools we downloaded it and now i want to log in with a help desk account and i'm going to give, create a help desk account and i'm going to give him limited access i don't want to give him access to everything i just want him to do password reset how do we do that that's the real question so we're going to go over that today and i'm going to share my screen and show you how to do that and I'm going to log in as a user. And then I'm going to show you that it's possible to do that. All right. So screen dos o two. So we're back on my Windows 10 machine. I'm going to sign out of this one just for fun. And then here, I'm going to create a brand new account. So I'm going to start from the beginning. We're going to go into start menu. We're going to go into server, man server manager. Um, click on server manager real quick. And then we're going to go tools. And I'm gonna to go to Active Directory Users and Computers, right? So what I want to do is I want to create a new account, and just like the other ones, we have Yugi Moto, we have um, Joey. I'm gonna create an account, and you know I'm into my my whole spang with different things. So I'm gonna create an account. Hey guys, I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope everyone's doing well. This video is sponsored by Jiro from Simply Cyber. Thank you, Jiro, for sponsoring for the month of March. I greatly appreciate it. Um, it's, we have two sponsors, actually, Gerald, and then it's sponsored by me as well. Um, you could go online now and take my Server 2022 course. I'm going to leave the link below in the description. Enjoy the rest of my video, guys, and hopefully you learned something from this video. And I, hopefully I get to see you guys soon um, in B-Size Tampa. All right, later, guys. Are you feeling lost in the vast world of cybersecurity, overwhelmed by technical jargon and confusing career paths? You're not alone. That's why I built Simply Cyber. Hi, I'm Dr. Gerald Ozier. Come join Simply Cyber, your supportive and inclusive community for navigating the exciting world of cyber. There's so much to take advantage of. Master the skills you need with Simply Cyber Academy, offering in-depth courses aligned with the GRC analyst role. Never feel isolated. Connect with fellow cyber enthusiasts and professionals in our thriving Discord server. Ask questions, get feedback, share your journey. Check out the Simply Cyber YouTube channel, delivering insightful interviews. What are your thoughts around you know, web app pen testing as entry level. And I, I included bug bounty here because that's very accessible to everybody. Practical skill demos and daily cyber threat briefs all hosted by industry experts. There's so much more to discover. Are you ready to join the community and empower your future? Visit simplycyber.io slash socials for all the links and start your cyber adventure today. ...with different things. So I'm gonna create an account that he is He's a super strong character. Um, he's very um, underrated, but I like him. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call the account Epo. So if you guys know anything about boxing, is that Epo is an anime show? So a boxing anime show. So he's gonna he's gonna log in. He's gonna have some admin rights, right? Even though he's a boxer, he's gonna have some admin rights. So what I'm gonna do is I created the account just now, right? It's called Epo. And what I want to do is I want to go into KevTech. I'm going to right click on KevTech. I'm going to do delegate control, right? And then here is where you give him access to what you want him to do. So I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit add. And I'm going to do Epo. I'm going to look for Epo's name. I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to give him reset user passwords, force password change, and next login. Create, delete, and manage user accounts. So we're going to give him. We're gonna give him this one. Um, and we're gonna give him this one. And let's see what else we have here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, for special national. Now we don't want him to create and delete and manage user accounts. That's a problem. Right? So this is someone that's a super admin. We don't do that with this guy. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do finish. So he's able to join computers through a domain. And he's able to reset password. So. How do we confirm he's able to do that? So I created the account. I'm going to go to the Windows 10 machine. I'm going to do Control Delete. I'm going to type Epo in here. And I'm going to type his password to use to log in. So if I could type his password, because I'm like, I'm like typing it really fast. Sorry about that. All right. So I should be able to log in. And then this specific user so i gave him some admin rights some 
particular writes to AD, he should be able to open Active Directory without a problem. You know how we're getting that weird error message earlier? Not Epo. Epo should have access to do some password resets, at least, on this specific computer, All right? So server manager is there. He has access to server. We're not going to open that. We're going to open up Active Directory using computers. Just to show you, like, it opened up just fine. But just to show you, I'm going to open up server manager just to show you what happens if I open up server manager. And, you know, we, we, have, we have server manager open for, it's hard to believe that it's open for Windows 10. I mean, I told you, you could, you could do a lot of things on Windows 10. Our set tools is one of them. So if I go here, add roles and features, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I wanna add a, I wanna create a domain controls, I'm gonna work remote service, it's not gonna work. Uh group policy. Screw it out, it's not gonna work. See? Clicking on it's not gonna work. Um active directory sites and services. It's a little it's taking a little bit of time to open. Um the ACP. Okay, that I'm not sure that's gonna work, but um let's well, let's see what else we have here that I can mess with. Active directory domains and trust. This is sites. Yeah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Not gonna work. Yes, it's not. It's not. That's gonna work. All right. All right. So this works. So that's cool. Am I able to reset a password? Reset password. Oh, let me see. Let me try deleting his account. Nope. It's not gonna work. You try deleting his account. All right, that doesn't work. Let me try resetting his password. That works. Yeah, so see, that's that's basically his permissions. He doesn't have a crazy permissions. So you look at members of, he's just a domain user account. Doesn't even have special security groups in place. So hopefully that makes sense. But uh, yeah, that's it for him. Um, I could do more stuff. Like I could log in as a, as another account. If you work in a real job environment, I'm sharing. My, I'm still sharing my screen. Um, typically, what they do is they will create. Like I'll give you an example. Like my name is Kevin. They will create like a user and they'll call it Kevin Apollinario, which is my name, right? And the username is going to be probably going to be K Apollinario dash A uh, uh, A D M, which is like for it means admin. And then next, and then they'll give me like a crazy password, which I'm not gonna. I'm, I mean, I could pull up a crazy password. So if I go here, if I go to, uh, I'll show you something. If I go to Dino Pass, and I go here and look for a password, another password. So pink, pink B seven three, all lowercase. So pink B seven three, pink. Pink B seven. I mean, it may take that. It may not take that password. See, it doesn't take. It's not complex enough. Another strong password. So, I'm gonna go back to this one and do another strong. Like, see, these are all crazy passwords. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm not gonna remember. I'm not gonna remember, be able to remember any of these passwords. Let me just give you a real life example. So, let me try a different password. Let me try. Uh. That's gonna work. Yeah, so then what they'll do is they'll do delegate control maybe, or they'll put you in a security group. Like a security group will have certain limited access. Like um, you go right here, you could right click, do new, and then you do um, group, and then you put something in there. But if you do delegate control, typically here it gives you, you get you give access to, see the groups are right there. Even groups are there. Like if I were to make a group, so like if I was working in, in um, 
And I guess working in help desk or being a sysadmin, I would create a brand new group like this one and I will call it help desk, right? As the name of the group, I hit okay. And then what I'll do is I'll do work kick, I'll do delegate control, I'll do next, I'll do add, and then I'll type help desk in here. And then I'll hit next. And then I'll do reset passwords, reset users password, force password, change the next login, hit next, hit finish. And then for the, the the for the purpose of that, um, what I'll do is I'll create another account, right? And I'll call it Kevin, which is my name. Uh, and then I'll call it Kevin as a login. And then I'll give it a password, right? And then the next login, next, next, next. Uh, it says the password doesn't match. Just fine. There you go. And then what I'll do is I'll double click on Kevin and do member of, and then do add, and then type help desk, and then hit okay. And then what I'll do is for the sake of this video, I'll go into Windows 10 and I will just sign out of Windows 10, right? And then people is there and I'll log in as, as Kevin, not help desk, it's Kevin. Should let me log in. And I should be able to open up Active Directory as him. Um, because I'm part of that security group. We'll see if it works or we'll see if it doesn't work. Um, I think it should work. Uh, users. It's going to be a little laggy because everything's just opening up right now. Yep. And then I'm going to do reset password. And I should be able to reset his password. And it works for me. See, so like that's that's some security. So like they'll have security groups for everything, including that specific thing. Like I said, delegation rights, because you don't want to just right click here, right, and then just manually add one person to it. Maybe you, you could just have a, a whole group that has access to do password reset, and that's it. Like the help desk group, and then you'll probably have another group, right? Like for example, um, a uh, super user, right? Obviously, it won't be called super user. It'll probably be called like uh, elevation, or if I could spell right because I'm terrible at. Elevated. At elevated. A D M or something like that, and then. Um, you do delegation control again, and then you just do L E and look for it, and then just real life example. And then you do K Apollinario. Um, I'm sorry, K Uh, you do next, and then you give this one create reset password, um, modify membership, join a computer domain, and give them access to a bunch of stuff, and you hit next, 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 and then you're done. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it for me. I just wanted to show you that. I mean, there's certain there's, there's security groups for that, but that's what you'll do in a, in a work environment. They have security groups for everything, which is why we we put things in security. We don't just <laughs> give a one person one access to everything. You know, the security groups in place in the work environment for for that specific reason. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, man. Later, guys. Bye.